Okay, so today I'll be showing you how to create a drum line using Acid Pro 7.0. My name is uh, Dennis. I go by the hip hop name Shifty. Please subscribe to my YouTube if you're interested in more videos. I will be posting more in the future. This is an upgraded technology for me, so I'd like to share my knowledge with everybody else. First off, you'll want to set your BPMs uh, in hip hop. Usually, it's anywhere from 90 to 120. It could be less, could be more, depending on the beat. Doesn't really matter. But uh, for today, we'll set ours to 95. By doing that, you'll just simply left click twice. It'll highlight it. Select your number, 95, and hit Enter. It was already at 95, but I just wanted to show you how to do that. And you'll want to set your enable snapping to on, which is make sure it's clicked in. And select your paint tool. And get your arrow, make sure the paint tool is at 8 notes. And the uh, clicking is set, or the snapping is set to 16 notes. Um, and then you'll want to select your sample that you're using, which I pre cut already using Gold Wave, which you can also use Acid Pro 7 to cut samples, but I find it easier in Gold Wave. Uh, I will show another video later if need be to show how to make the cuts. So you'll simply left click the file you want to use twice and it'll appear up here where you need it to be. So I left clicked it and you'll hit plus to make it bigger. And then you'll want to make this margin, click the left a little and drag it to the right. And then just use your little scroll wheel up one time to make like, the whole thing bigger like that and then you just have to move over again and you could just drag it until you see the whole thing I just like to reduce the size so I can paint the whole thing with the biggest amount of screen uh, now you'll simply left click at the beginning of the file hold it down and drag it all the way to the end of your loop region which to set your loop region, you simply left click up here, hold it down, move it, put it back. If you do it too short, you can always go to the top where my mouse is now, anywhere above here, and left click twice, and it'll set it to where the furthest point is painted, which we know is already at our loop point. See, it automatically does it, even if you're off in the beginning. Okay, so now, we'll play that for you. It's just that same sample played twice over. You can see where the V is that shows it's a separate track. I'll just delete it to show you that. And to repaint that, you just left click over here and pull it into it. And there you go. So there's our basic sample. Now we're going to add in our, our kick, which I think we're going to use attack kick. Um, you can hear it. And you just left click that twice to put it where you need it to be. And then hit plus one time for it to even out to the same size as the other track. And you'll want to paste paste a couple in where you think they'll sound good. Um, I think I have a good idea what I want to do with this particular sample. Um, so we'll add in that. And I think we're going to add our snare in now as well. Which I'm going to use what's called Baby Runner. These are just all my uh, these wave samples that I have found over the years. Plus one time here. Uh, they have a good sound to them. You can add reverb on them and everything and they'll sound great. And so you'll just paste in your snare where you want it. Which, that's not where I want it. think we'll add it in. Right there. There we 
go. Found our spot. So you just simply paste them all in. Oop, too much. So we got our snare. And we'll do another little mix here. And then we'll just use your selection tool, left click before. And then you'll right click at the beginning of the note. Select the copy. And you want to go to the next half of the sample. Left click. And then you'll right click paste paste it where you need it to be. So we'll play that back for you. So now we have our kick and snare. We will add our hat, which is very easy. We're going to use what's called confused. And we'll hit plus one time. Add, even it out. Select our paint tool again. I think we'll see what it sounds like right there. I think that sounds good right there. There we go. There's where we want it. You can just use the selection tool for this actually. You just click your selection tool where you left click, right click, copy, one space in between, and then paste. And then you just delete off whatever you don't want to use. Like that. So we got our hat in there. Now we'll add our little little metallic. So we'll do a tambo. That's what it sounds like. We're gonna just add that right over top. Let's uh, plus that one time actually. I'm just using the eraser tool, but you can just right click with the eraser tool and actually paint, which is nice. You can see, I just do it manually, it doesn't even matter. Paint it all in. Now that it's all painted, we'll delete that off. And. You can turn the volume down there. Yeah, no, that was way too loud. That's just a loud noise to begin with. I'll play it back for you. And that'll conclude how to make a drum line in Acid Pro 7. My name is uh, Dennis Shifty. You can uh, subscribe to this YouTube video, to my YouTube channel. Um, basically, after this, you would just add a drum line and your uh, main notes and everything, whatever you'd like to add over top of the sample. Um, doesn't need much more. I'd probably just actually end up with a drum line, maybe like a piano or something stupid. But next time, we'll try to get in more into uh, MIDI creation uh, like with this if you wanted to add a baseline you could simply use MIDI um, I use MIDI with a, an, an audio keyboard which is nice uh, but we'll dive into that more a little later this is just a first sneak peek on how to make a drum line in Acid Pro 7 hope this was informative thank you for your time